Hi, I'm Andrea from Aromahead Institute, and this video is all about rosemary. It, rosemary is such an uplifting and wonderful aroma. I use rosemary a lot of times in blends when I want to stay alert, to clear my head. That's the first blend we're going to make is an inhaler. Uh, it would be great if you had a cold or allergies or some kind of uh, sinus headache. This blend we're about to make would be perfect. I'm also going to add in some pinion pine. And I just love this oil. It's very piney and earthy, of course, but it's got this hint of citrus that makes it so much lighter than most pine, spruce, and fir oils. It's really pretty if you haven't tried it. All right, so let's make the inhaler. So this is a fun inhaler. I uh, take the top off and then unscrew the bottom. And there's a little glass piece right here and the holes are in the top for smelling. So I'm gonna unscrew this and then here's your glass vial and here's your nice cotton, organic cotton wick. And so this goes in here and then the essential oil drops go in here too. So we're gonna do 10 drops of rosemary and I'm just gonna make it right in the vial because I already know my recipe, so it's super easy just to drop it right in here. And we'll do 10 drops. Nine, 10, good. And I'm gonna move it around a little. There we go, so the essential oil is going down the bottle. And then I'm going to add five drops of pinion pine. This is a nice combination from an aromatic perspective and also will really help uh, awaken your mind and open up your sinuses and clear your head, help you focus. So great. And there's five. Okay. So now I just simply put this back on, twist it till it's on, all the way on, and then I just slide it right back in. And now it's all covered, so it's never gonna leak if it's in your pocket or if it's in a bag you're carrying around, you're all set. When you wanna use it, you just take the top off and then, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And if you really want a strong, I would just close one side. Mm. And it is just, it smells so good. And the great thing about this kind of inhaler is that you can reuse it. You can take the cotton out, put a new piece of cotton in, you can wash the glass part. So you can keep this forever, it's really nice. Our next use of rosemary is going to be in a diffuser. And this is for during the day when you want the house to smell uplifting and vibrant, you wanna feel awake and focused, this is perfect. So here's a diffuser and I'm gonna take the top off. And I already put water right in here and I am gonna put five, 10 drops of rosemary in here. It's up to you how strong you want it to smell, how big a space you have, if the windows are open or closed, all those little factors. So just play around with your home and see what works best. I'm gonna go ahead and put five drops in. There we go. And so lovely. I really like diffusing. It's a great way to get the essential oils into the air. It's a great way to even reduce germs in the air. To feel, it feels cleansing, you get to smell it. It's so wonderful. I'm gonna plug in the diffuser and we'll turn it on. Full, full strength, so it's on full strength and it's going to run until the water runs out. And already I can smell the rosemary. It smells so beautiful. And this is bringing steam and oil out, really great. Not fun. All right, I'm gonna unplug it just because I want to make the next blend. Maybe you notice too, it's pretty quiet. It's just like the lightest little hum, which is nice. Our last use of rosemary is going to be in foam soap. So I have a foam soap container. It's a 240 mil foam soap container. And I'm gonna use rosemary and lime. That is one of my 
favorite aromatic combinations for foam soap. So I have a few little pieces of equipment here. First of all, I have a gallon of Castile soap and I'm going to pour it into this container and I don't want to fill it all the way because when you put the top in, it sinks down and if you filled it all the way, the soap just comes bursting out. So I usually fill it three quarters of the way or so. You can pour right from the gallon into here, but this is a little heavy. So I just am gonna pour into this beaker and then I'll pour into the soap container. And you know, this is actually a um, coffee thing from Bodum. And the reason I'm using this is because I'm not really needing to measure, so I don't need measurements on here like most beakers have. And it has this great pouring tip, the best one yet. Better than a Pyrex, better than any of the um, beakers I've bought. So this is my favorite, just a little tip. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in. And there we go, that's a good amount. I can always add a little bit more at the end if I want to. And then we're gonna add the essential oil. And this blend is going to be two mils of rosemary and one mil of lime. And I've got this great graduated cylinder. And these are pretty precise. It's graduated by the mill. So I can very easily get two mils of the rosemary and one mil of the lavender. And you know, when it comes to foam soap, really there's not any exact amount of drops you need to use. I have found that this is a nice amount, but this is up to you. It depends on the oils you choose. You can experiment with adding less or more. So two mils. So I'm just watching the line here, just because I know that I really like this specific recipe. So it's very repeatable. And here we go. Two mils of rosemary. This is a really bright soap, very um, energizing, gorgeous. The lime adds this incredible sweet citrusy aroma to the soap. And I'm adding one mil of the lime. Lime's really strong, so we don't need to add two mils in order for the soap to smell really good. One mil is enough. Okay, there it is. All right, so now I'm going to add it in to the soap. Ha, ah, smells so good. I love it. And I'm going to give it a little shake just so it mixes in really well with the soap. And then, <laughs> look at that. You have foam soap. So great. And it smells amazing. I'm going to go wash my hands with it right now. See you later.